Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Franco. Um, you can call me Fun Franco. My real name is John Franco, so see ya. Anyhow, this is going to be my Apple Desk Tour. And why I call it not Geeks Desk Tour, Apple Desk Tour, anything and everything you see on this desk was purchased from an Apple store. There's not a single thing over here you cannot purchase from Apple store. So, yes, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, let's start. Where do we start? Let's start with the Thunderbolt display. 27 inch, amazing, amazing display. Amazing quality, crisp, bright, the whole nine yards. It's fun to work with, fun, uh, fun to watch videos. I mean, you know, ever since I got this thing, I don't really use my TV that much anymore. It's really nice, and I can't, I can't wait for the freaking ITV that they're gonna come up with. Well, the rumors say they're gonna come up with. That's gonna be even crazier than this. So, hooked up to that is my Mac Mini. It is 2.5, um, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I put it on after. And then 500 gigabytes of hard drive. And then there is a super drive attached to it. And then right over here, we got the uh, Airport Extreme. It is a great base station. You can do a hell of a lot with it. I mean, I just hook up my Western Digital 2 TV hard, external hard drive to it. And all of these machines can use it all at once, anytime I want. This is really great. So, hooked up to it, we got the Bowers & Wilkins MM1s, great, great speaker system for PC or Mac, whatever you call it. Um, yes, they're a little bit overpriced, but you get what you paid for. I mean, they're amazing. And then right over here, and I just got this yesterday, we got the Bowers & Wilkins Zeppelin Mini. This is a really good little machine too. I mean, you can't really use this on a big room because it doesn't really fill up the whole room. But when you use it on a smaller or normal size room, it is a great quality. It really is. And, you know, between this and that, I will still prefer this. So anyhow, moving on, let's go over here. We got the Mighty Mouse with the charger. And I love this charger, it just wiggles, look, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Alright, we got the Apple remote, we got the Bowers and Wilkins remote, we got another Bowers and Wilkins remote. And then over here we got the Magic trackpad, we got the Apple wireless keyboard, and moving on, right over here, this is the machine that started everything. I mean everything. All of this is because of this. This is my first MacBook Pro. It is the 2009 model. Um, it has 2.53 gigahertz. Um, it it has 8 gigabytes of RAM. It has 500 gigabytes of hard drive, and it's quad core. Uh, no, du uh, dual core. Yes, uh, dual core. Uh, it's a great machine. I still use this a lot and it's been with me for almost two and a half years and I did drop this thing a lot too. I mean look at it. Look you can see the dent over here. There are a lot of other dents you can't see but I mean this thing is durable too. Uh, all those drops and still works like hell. Moving on. Now let's move to a little more fun stuff. Now. Here is 2012 MacBook Air 11 inch with Ivy Bridge. Um, this is the base model. Okay, um, there was nothing added to it. I just picked it up. That's it. I mainly use this, um, I don't know, like in my car and stuff when, I'm, when I don't have my iPad. And this is much better than the iPad, you gotta admit. Especially if you have an iPhone 4S, you can just hook it up to Wi Fi and you can use internet wherever you go. 
it's a really nice little machine and it is fast I mean it's only four gigabytes and 1.7 I think but it's still fast and I love it I love it and I just got this like two days ago but I love it over here again 2012 MacBook Air this time 13 inch model this is the top of the line 2.0 gigahertz um, 512 SSD, 8 GB of RAM. Um, I invested a little bit money on this machine and it is a nice little machine. Uh, it is super fast. I mean, it is faster than my old MacBook Pro and it's much more portable, uh, much more tenor, much more lighter, and I can take it anywhere. This is a really nice machine. Um, and then, they're closing this off now. Now the crown jewel. Here it is. MacBook Pro Retina Display. This is the top of the line one. It is the 2.7 model. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has 512 SSD. It is freaking insane. But the thing about this is, you see, I've seen a lot of people talking about how crisp, how bright, how beautiful Retina display is. It really is. But it takes some time for your eyes to get used to it. Because you never seen this, uh, this much clarity before. So it actually, when you're first looking at it, it looks like you're watching a 3D movie. It is so clear. So once you get used to it, you love it, but un until you get used to it, you have to use a couple hours. And you're like, okay, what the fuck? This is weird. Anyhow, yes, so that's that. Let's close this off. Over here, we got the new iPad, 16 gigabytes, nothing fancy. Um, and then over here, we got the iPhone 4S. The thing about the Siphon 4S, it is running iOS 6 already. So let's see. As you can see, version 6.0. Anyhow, moving on. I got the little docs over here. I got the Apple TV over here. This is my second Apple TV. I didn't know what to do with it. And I said, okay, what the hell? Let me just put it as a display right over here. So I did. Moving on, the camera I'm videotaping with is Canon T3i, and this is a lens for that. This is the 300 millimeter lens. It is a really nice lens, and you know I, I use it quite a bit. Not as much as I used to. I mean, I used to be really into photography. Not anymore. Um, Anyhow, yeah, we got the Samsung HD camcorder right over here. Um, and then over here, Skull Candy Aviator headphones. The only reason I got these headphones is because they look sick. They look like they came out of an old plane and they really look nice. Little glass over here or plastic, the leather over here, and then and then the leather over here and then you just move on you know moving on 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 all right over here we got the beats by dre at the bottom we got the tour edition at the top we got the solo they're both very nice by the way solo yes it is really nice i didn't prefer the pro just because it was too big. So anyhow, I think I covered everything right over here. Yes, oh, all right. Well, the last little piece right over here. Belkins, uh, seven USB port, and that is pretty much it. Yes, that is my room to right over here, see? Now, it is a funny story how I got all of these. Uh, the story is, see, all of these, except the iPhone 4S and MacBook Pro, my first one, wouldn't be possible without this, this little machine right over here. 
See, I love this machine. At the end, I also hate this machine. Just because of the simple fact. It is because... I always work with this machine. I said, okay, it's time to get a big display. Let's hook this up to a big display. And to be honest with you, I thought this had a Thunderbolt uh, port in it. Well, apparently it didn't. And, I live in Europe. So, anything I order from Apple Store, it comes over here, from States. And I have to pay taxes, I have to pay uh, customs, this and that. Because if, you, if I buy it over here, it's going to be double the price. So I'd rather buy it from States and just get it shipped over here. So anyhow, I bought the Thunderbolt display. So it comes. I tried to hook this up. Whoa! What do you know? You can't! Okay, okay. I said, okay, don't panic. Don't panic. Well, I can't return it. So I said, what the hell? Let me just get a Mac Mini. So I did. So the Mac Mini came. And then I'm like, okay, I gotta get to uh, Super Drive for it. So I did, and then the new MacBook lineup came. I'm like, okay, Jesus, the Retina looks sick. And then I'm like, okay, let me get the Retina. So I ordered Retina the first day that came up. By the way, all of the stuff you see over here, other than my, uh, my MacBook uh, Pro, the first one, and the iPhone 4S, is only a month old. Every single thing. So, anyhow, I ordered that, and while ordering that, okay, I said, this is heavy, this is heavy, I need something a little more portable. So I said, let me get this, MacBook Air, the 13-inch model. So I ordered that as well, and then a buddy of mine got me that MacBook Air 11-inch. He just gave it to me two days ago, actually. And then I'm like, okay, let me get the iPad, just to hook it up, you know. So I did. And then I'm like, okay, listening to music and this is nice. And then I got the Barbers and Wilkins, MM1s. And then I needed the external hard drive, so I got the Western Digital. And then I'm like, okay, I got all of these machines, I need to get the Airport Extreme. You know, it's going to work much more better, much better. So I did. And then I got the HP Enemy 100. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Yeah, HP Enemy 100. It's a really nice machine, touch screen and all. Anyhow, and then I got that, you know, the Magic Mouse, well, the trackpad and the keyboard. I had to get it with the Mac Mini. And then I said, okay, let me get another speaker system, which is the Zeppelin Mini right over there. And now, it's not finished. No, it's not. Like an idiot, yesterday, I got drunk. And I apparently went online, and I got myself the Zeppelin Air as well, which is coming next week. See, I never, you know, I was never going to do a YouTube video, but after all of this desk setup, I said, okay, I got to show this to people. Um, wish... I knew I was going to do this video, so I would have done unboxing of all of these. But, yeah, so... Oh, by the way, if you guys don't believe me that these are the 2012 models. As you can see, MagSafe 2, MagSafe 2, MagSafe 2. So, yeah, this is my ultimate apple desk tour um hope you guys like it uh this channel is pretty much going to be about gaming and stuff but in the honor of doing this first video i'm going to do a giveaway but you don't get anything for free so i am going to give away my 13 inch macbook air which is brand new you know the box is still there as soon as I get 10,000 subscribers as soon as I get 10,000 subscribers I'm gonna do a giveaway of this um, you know and at the end I also want to get some feedback what else should I get because it's like an addiction now I should you know you can see pretty much the whole 
first page of Apple Store right over here. Um, is there anything else you guys want me to get? And is there anything else you guys want to see? Just leave a comment, like, subscribe, do it all, you know. So, anyhow, thank you guys for watching. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.